country and now here at home. Massey was killed earlier this month by a Sangamon County deputy who shot her as she was holding a pot of boiling water in her home. Tonight, dozens gathered with pots in a call for justice. <laughs> News News <laughs> has the story. These niggas are crazy. They're just as crazy as she is. Yep. Yeah, feral. <laughs> They're just as crazy as she is, man. Everyone hit the like button. Man. How many likes do we got? This um, is right here. This pie. Yes. That's a glider on the pot. Somebody got to somebody gotta mute themselves. We got we hear everything that's going on in the background. Whoever is living their life in the background. Jimmy. Man, this ain't like the fucking. Yeah, this ain't the fucking. Um, yeah, the fuck is this? this reality TV? They're trying <laughs> to have a reality TV show on, on my show and shit. This motherfucker trying to live his life and shit. Hold on, Michelle. <laughs> uh, shit. Um, uh, we we'd like to get a hundred more likes, man. For we'd like to get a hundred more likes. Everybody who hasn't hit the like button, we'd like for you to hit the like button now. We'd like to get a hundred more likes, man. Um, please. Every um, like is an hour. That I will stay awake. Oh shit! Don't don't bang on that. Um. <laughs> Oh man, this guy, yo. Thank you, Jimmy. That ain't Jimmy though. He he muted. Nah, he just muted though. He just oh, he I, I think it was me, man. My my uh, son wanted something. So I oh, yeah, man. man, you gotta you gotta make sure you mute yourself when you when you live your life, that. man. Yeah, life, life is the Truman Show, man. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? <laughs> I was looking yeah, at the man. other uh, feed, uh, and uh, I forgot to turn off the mic. Sorry. Yeah, man. Um, salute to Eric S. Op Nation Hall of Fame for coming through once again. Some thousands night in a row. Shout out to Marcel coming through once again, taking the five dollar challenge. Um, yeah, man. Um, you didn't hear me say the n word, did you? Thank God. I hope that didn't come over. The yeah, way. man. We heard that, man. <laughs> oh, man. I was like, I was like, yo, this dude, the nerve of this dude, man, two faced it ass dude. Man. <laughs> And you called your kids that shit, man. Yeah, yeah, man. man. God, damn, I'm wearing blackface man. right now, though, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> uh, it's crazy, man. Salute to Deluxe Two Four Seven, aka Kyle Ripken, aka the real MVP, coming through once again for thousand night in a row. These Negroes are crazy. They only care about this because. A white man did it and because they can get attention for it. They wouldn't do that if the news camera, if there was no way to get attention, but if this was just a random woman that got killed in a brutal way and there was like no media attention about this, they would not be sitting here with pots. They're here with pots because they know the cameras are showing up. A call for change. Marcella Woodson is one of the organizers of the gathering. In Marcella Woodson is a piece of shit. Let me Marcella. tell you why I'm a piece of shit because she's in a. This is a suburb of Chicago, so we know all suburbs of major cities are the same shit. It's just like Chester for Philadelphia. It's just like PG County for DC. The same shit is going on at a slightly lesser rate. That's in the city. Somebody told me this. This shit don't happen in PG County. That's where the Jeez. that's where the upper class blacks are. This it's a it's a poverty problem. Shit. This woman would never. She's not doing. She doesn't care about black death. They give a fuck about a dead black person. This is disgusting behavior by these people. And she's she's the leader. She's the most disgusting. You don't care about black life. You care about dunking on white people and browbeating white people. Of the gathering in Carbondale. 
She says coming together shows the importance of Massey's life. And Carbondale United has come together today and organized here in the community a peaceful march in honor and celebration of the life of Sonia Massey. Those who attended the event say they feel it is important to get out and show support. We are standing in solidarity for one of our members um, of SCI. And these people suck too because they don't care about any of the black people who died in Blackistan either. But yeah, these people, be- they suck less because they're like not really even supposed to care about those niggas that died. Well, and also, died. there's pretty yeah, good, you know, they're, they're probably not too aware as much as people in the community are just what the murder rate is and what's really going on because they don't hear about a lot of it. They hear about these high profile things and it's, you know, it works them all up, but. The everyday stuff, they're not hearing about that. So they care about the ones they think are important because that's what they're being fed. Yeah, these these people, but yeah, they, these people know that. But like, I, like I, I continuously say, the fact that these public schools go from 99% white to like 10% white in a decade when blacks start moving in, they know something, man. They know something, man. This notion that white people don't know anything about black people is going on, no. They know something. They flee. Like where I'm at, they are fleeing the public school. They are fleeing. I mean, they've like literally, the schools used to be good test scores and shit. The schools suck now. They're very good at basketball, but the schools suck now. The um the the they're moving out of neighborhoods that they once you know revered and were proud of. They're moving to suburbs. They're creating enclaves in the suburbs. You can't tell me the only they don't know they're just doing that by that logic, they're doing that because of the texture of our hair and the color of our skin. No, I'm not saying that that's all it is, man. I mean, I'm I'm sure they they believe a lot of the other nonsense that this is all because of their systemic oppression and this is their way of exercising that guilt. I mean, they they've swallowed a whole narrative about uh, the race relations in this country, and part of that is their ignorance of what's really going on, and uh, part of it is their guilt, and that they've been brainwashed into thinking that they are responsible for this. And that, that comes with arrogance. You know, if you're a white person, maybe you're yeah, arrogant enough. To be a lot of arrogance. Be responsible. That could be part of it. You know, it's it, yeah. it's not just evil that these people are there. That's all. Yeah, you, you, yeah. you might be saying that because they're white. You're taking up for the white people. But no. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, he does. Uh, yeah. It might be. Yeah, you suck, too. Yeah, no, it's, I'm guilty. It's cool, man. It's, it's, that, it's that tribal bias. We get it, bro. It's yeah. no, it's just that it's part of the system that's been set up that we're all kind of victims to, you know. No, yeah, you, no, no. I, I'll give you that. That that we're systemic all systemic racism. Systemic there, there's, there's definitely some on these women's part. There's definitely some. Um, I'm I'm using this event to wash myself clean of oh, the yeah. guilt. Or, um, hey, guys, look at me. I'm and one of the good ones. And you look, it's mostly women, you know? And it, that's part of their whole thing is to kind of walk around agreeing with each other about everything, you know, even if they don't honestly feel it. And they're told, you got to go do this thing. And they all show up. They, you know, they're not looking at but, it critically. It's just being white women. But this, I mean, when they tell you the narrative, it sounds good. I mean, yeah, you know the white man, slave niggas, and then uh, Jim Crow and all that shit. And then they start talking about the CIA bringing crack in the black community and all that shit. So I can see why they can buy into it from a narrative perspective, but I don't think they really dig into these narratives like that. To, and I to think- see if this is really the real problem. And I think Ox, you know, uh, position is that they don't really care, and I think that's probably true. They don't really care. That's just they've been told they need to do this. This is how they can fake, sort of, uh, or, or you know, a tone. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't. Tone. Think, it's a yeah. nice day out. 
for these people <laughs> and they, they, they go back to their houses, you know. Yeah, go go. Yeah, some they just, yeah, they're just running off emotion. Yeah, just do some arts and crafts with a bunch of black people that you would never ever share a space with. We're standing in solidarity for one of our members um, of the that, CIU union. I'm an energy uh, acceptance and, stuff. And and Sandra Massey would definitely accuse them of racism for <laughs> for like the slightest, you know what I'm saying? Like if, if, if Sandra Massey was behind them in line at Walmart, right? And she thought she was she got to the line first. It would be these black, these white women would, would ha, have a bad day. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. <laughs> like, like if they had if they had an encounter with Sandra Massey and there was anything where uh it was a discrepancy about anything, they would have a terrible day. That would be a horrible day for these women. <laughs> they would not enjoy sharing a space with Sandra Massey. Sonia Massey, if there was if things weren't one thousand percent like great, she wasn't medicated. Yeah, sleep. they they would they would they would suck. Could you imagine them calling the police on her and her finding out? <laughs> She's wild and she out there wilding <laughs> out, and then then the police come and pull up in front of these ladies' house. They come out and just like, yeah, she was running up and down. The Yo, imagine. oh yeah, she gonna yeah. kill them for real. Yeah, these, these listen, these people. That's why I just saying, like these women would never want to share a space with a Sonya Massey ever if they didn't have her own family. Didn't want to share that space. Exactly. Yeah. And, um, we are here. What has happened to her is beyond horrible. You know, it's just immortal. I mean, I mean. Who in their right mind would do something like that, especially in the situation that went down when she was asking for help? Carmelita Cahill spoke at the event. She says the she wasn't asking for help. She was trying to set up her neighbor to get charged with a crime. Impact of Massey's death won't soon be forgotten. I think anybody who's watched that video is a different person. So now she feels she's black as hell now. Normally she like a mulatto and shit. But now she the king of the blacks, man. She the blackest person in the world today, man. Mulattoes love shit like this. You know what I'm saying? Like you can look at her features. You can tell thin lips, pointy nose, straight hair. She probably in her younger years probably would look like, you know, like a typical like Britney Renner or uh um you know what I'm saying. Yeah, Mariah Carey right. type. Her, her name's Carmel Light, so makes sense. Yeah, exactly. And 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 now it's like you know, it's just like, oh, some black shit happened to black people. Let me, I'm black too, and this is this sucks for me. She's probably telling stories about how white people are mean to her. <laughs> and they, and they just like, like African earrings and shit. Yeah, knocked out. We know it. She's probably throwing every white person she was cool with and supported her and <laughs> let guided her path when oh, she dude. was younger. She's probably like throwing all of them under the bus, making up stories about shit that they did, you know what I'm saying? Just to be down with the blacks right now at a time like this. She's probably a horrible person too. <laughs> Soon after they watch it. And unfortunately, that affects your beliefs in other human beings. It affects your beliefs in the people that are to protect us. It affects your trust and your security in your own space. In Carbondale, I'm Nene Lee. If, I, if, 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 if me and a bunch of niggas came up there and we were fucking acting like niggas, these people would call the police within a heartbeat. Leong, News 3. Organizers say they hope to have another rally like this in the future. We'll pass along that information. Wow. They're going to do another rally? Oh, yikes. This guy looks like Ernie. That That's woman, the the last, that woman, the last one that was talking about how you can't be the same after she said, you know what she would love? She, she would love more than anything in the world to actually be. Sonia Massey to just be someone who gets shot for the cause and dies and becomes glorified. That's that's wow. where her head is. Wow. She's the sick one. 
Facts. Yeah, these, these people are sick, man. Um, very, very sick. Uh, get a, a headset for the cause. Yeah. Um. Yeah, man. Unfortunately, man, this is this is this is sad, man. Um. But yeah, and, man. Uh, Sean did Sean didn't get a bond, did he? He's still behind bars. Oh hell nah. Listen, anybody who shows him any support, it's career suicide. If you're the judge and you give him a bond, it's career suicide. If you're the like no no one is gonna come near him. He's on his own right now. Um he's on his own. But yeah, go on, go great show. All out and shit. Yeah, great show, man. Great all show, right, guys. Right. Um Salute. I'm gonna try to tend to my wound, man. That shit's starting to bubble up bad now. I'm starting to get like I got like big bubble. I'm gonna post a new picture on, on X. Follow Don't me do the butter X. thing, man. Don't do the butter yeah, thing. Yeah, nah. I'm not gonna do that. Whatever you do, don't pop that shit either. I spilled. I oh really? Don't pop it. Just let it do its own thing. Put some aloe or some lidocaine. Just let it do its own thing. Follow me on Oc Nation News. I'm Oc Nation News on Twitter. I'm gonna post another picture of it now because it's starting to get. I spilled coffee. I spilled um, hot water on myself earlier in the show when I went to go get some coffee because I was falling asleep. I went to go get some coffee. I put some coffee in the microwave for three minutes and then when i was bringing it down the steps i spilled it on my stomach man, so, um, man that's, yeah man that shit crazy i got big bubbles on my stomach now um but you can see the pictures on my on on my twitter um Oc nation news or alpha coyote whichever one you want to go whichever one my handle or my um name but um it i'm i'm that's me on um on X, uh, you can you can check me out. Um, subscribe to me on X too. Yeah, um, let me just put the um, let me just put the uh, the, the uh, thing in the chat, man. Um, let me just do that anyway. Um, yeah, that's that's my um, that's my X handle right there. Um, salute, man. Same black time, same black channel. <clears throat> out of here. Peace out.